Hi everyone, it's Dee's from Turtle Dove. Hope you're doing really well. Today I'd like to show you um, just what I made my mum for Mother's Day coming up. I think it's on the 10th of May. Um, so I thought I would make her a card. I used um, this amethyst paper pad from Kayser Craft and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, just give you a quick look through the butterflies. So there's a couple of, of pieces that I'm not too keen on, but I mean obviously I'm going to use everything up eventually. Oops. There we go. So this sort of theme is um, purple, lavender, obviously. And I also bought some ephemera to go with it in the same amethyst and a packet of sayings of blessed and all sorts of things. So I won't go through that. Um, but that's what I bought. Um, I bought myself and got that. Um, I don't normally spend a lot on paper pads. I can't afford to a lot of the time. Um, and this, I think it was $21, so that's probably the most that I would spend on a pad at the moment. Um, but that's going to go a long way. So anyway, I had these um, pre-cut um, cards that I buy with the envelopes. I haven't decorated or embellished the envelope yet. I don't know if I will. I might just keep it plain. But this is the card. So I just cut out a little square showcasing the rose. And then I put some of this ephemera on the butterfly and another little rose just to give it a bit of depth. And I put some washi tape on the edge and inside I stuck another sheet on and just inked the edge in a beautiful soft lilac-y pink colour. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so I kept it soft and popped some more ephemera on with a bit of um, it's like diamond dust but this one's silver. Diamond glass, whatever you call it. Um, and then some more ephemera here, like a leaf. And this made just a little flip thing here. It says, see the good in all things. And I just stamped this side with the ink. Just blotted it down. Little love heart. And just put a strip there. And I actually did this a little bit crooked, but hopefully she won't notice. <laughs> Nothing is more beautiful than a kind heart. That's what that says. So I thought that's really nice and it's given me a bit of room to write my little sentiment. Um, so that's her card and she loves, mum loves purple, always has ever since I was a little girl. It's her favourite colour. So you may recognise this bag. I'll just show you what goodies I got mum. It's always hard to know what to get mum because she doesn't like perfumes and she doesn't like homeware little knickknacks because she's got enough. Um, and any creams and things like that she's asked not to not to give her because um, she has sensitive skin. So yeah, she's quite fussy. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know she appreciates everything. But anyway, so in a previous video I showed you how I made these bags so I've kept this aside for her knowing that she loves purple just pop the little pom-pom on the other side there we go it's coming a bit undone I have to adjust that there we go and <clears throat> she's been complaining that she can't buy sanitizer and things like that so of course I popped in the mask that I made for her because she's over 70 mum is and she'll be able to put any liner that she wants in there or not. So I've got that one for her, which I've shown you in another video how I did those. 
Mum loves crown mints when she drives, goes out anywhere, sitting in the waiting room at the doctor's, whatever. She always has mints in her mouth. <laughs> and they were actually quite difficult to find. She normally buys them from the pharmacy. But all the pharmacies I popped into didn't have them and I didn't want to be spending all day going into different pharmacies. Um, so I ended up finding this in a supermarket. And I don't know if that's a brand that she normally has, but I'm sure she'll enjoy those. Um, she gets very, very, very cold hands. And coming into winter, um, I thought I'd come across these at the chemist as well. Um, so you activate them by squashing these little pads. I think there's two of them in there. Yeah, there's two. And it keeps your hand hands warm, or keeps the heat, for up to 10 hours. So she could pop that in, in some mittens or just hold on to it if she's out ever and she gets a bit of cold um, cold hands. It's, it's getting cooler months here now in Australia, so soon it'll be winter. So I'm sure she'll find that handy. Um, I got her some hand cream using sanitizer uh, a lot. Makes your hands very dry. So I just found this Biotin SOS hand cream. So she should like that. And I found two little purse sized hand sanitizers for her, which I'm sure she'll love. She can keep one in the car and one in her bag. Um, and as I said, she was complaining she couldn't find any anywhere. So they're starting to come out in the stores again now, now that things are calming down. But being over 70, you still want to be safe. And I also found these sanitizer hand and skin wipes, which she could also keep in her car. Just um, clean the steering wheel after she's been to the shops and things. So, and then on top of that, lastly, some Kleenex tissues. So she can also keep one of those in her car and one in her bag. So I might pop a little chocolate in there for her. Um, but yeah, so I hope she likes these. I'm sure she will. I'm going to have to fiddle with this and pop them in nice and neat like I had before. So they... That will be her Mother's Day gift. Now just before I go, um, hopefully today hubby and I will be putting up a shelf that I've had for so long. This craft room um, is getting so messy and it's getting to the point again where I have so much things I can't find anything. I don't have spots for them. Um, so I'll just give you a quick beforehand, before look. Um, I have shown you the craft room before but um, just want to show you again because let me take the camera off of this tripod. I'll just give you a quick look. So on the floor there is the um, shelf that we're going to pop up and this corner here is normally where I do all my ASMR videos. So I have two walls that I have to leave free basically so that I can do my recording there and as you've just seen, a lot of the times I'll show you things on this end of the the room. And that's a lot of storage. So this wall has to be kept free as well. So the other two walls are for my crafting. Um, let's see if I can pan out more. Oh, wrong way. There we go. So above that shelf, I want to... Um, install the the shelf so that'll give me another whole shelf worth of um, organization so look how messy that bookshelf is it's just got stuff everywhere and I'm using my another table that I use that I could be using for crafting um, I could normally keep my sewing machine there and the die cutter but I've had to put a lot of other stuff there so maybe another shelf can go up above that eventually um, I'm putting things underneath my sewing box and boxes um, 
So yeah, I will show you. It'll probably take me a couple of days, but I'll show you when I've finished. And this is my desk, which is a bit messy at the moment. I've got stuff everywhere. Um, this is getting a bit messy looking here. So I've got to go through some of the boxes and things. Um, and I wouldn't mind putting another shelf there eventually. And I've got another little thing from Ikea I bought. It's metal and it can hold um, just odd bits of paper and things that you cut and don't want to throw out. So I'll pop, pop that over here. And of course under the table is messy. I've got all sorts of things under there. <laughs> And there's my sewing machine, which is right in front of a drawer, which is annoying at the moment. So, yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. But I just thought I would show you the before, so then I can show you the after. Once the shelf is up. Okay, guys, so... Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or evening, wherever you are. Look after yourselves, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.